We know that we're asking Americans to do a lot right now. So we're asking everyone to be selfless for others so that we can protect those who are most susceptible to this virus. A question I often get asked is why should young people care about the spread of coronavirus? Well, we know that people with underlying medical conditions over the age of 60 are at highest risk, but they've got to get it from somebody. Social distancing is really physical separation of people. It's what we refer to when we ask people to stay at least six feet apart. Not going to bars, not going to restaurants, not going to theaters where there are a lot of people. It all just means physical separation so that you have a space between you and others who might actually be infected or infect you. We all have a role to play in preventing person-to-person -person spread of this disease, which can be deadly for vulnerable groups. For more information on how you can social distance, please go to coronavirus.gov.
My friend is homeless. Where can he start to look for help? My partner wants to find help for drug use. Where can he find options? I don't know where my next meal is coming from. Where can I find help with transportation? Where can he start to look for help? Where can I find help? If you need help, call 211 Maine. 211 is a call center, and really what we do is we help people find help. People often call and they just say, I'm having this problem and I don't know what to do. And so we are equipped with a very hearty database full of all different kinds of resources, uh, nonprofits and state programs. Absolutely anyone can call 211. It's a free call from anywhere in the state. What's helpful is that we're there 24 seven. When people call 211, they can expect a person who is compassionate, who will listen, who will hold what they have to say in confidence. We ask you for your zip code, and that allows our computer system to zero in on resources in your area. So we can search the database, get the information they're looking for, and we can text it to them, we can email it to them, they can call. Our database is very well researched, and it is revalidated every year. And no question is too dumb. Don't worry about anything like that. You know, we honor every question and every person who calls. The reason we do it is because we like helping people. I do want to help. Maine is a beautiful place to explore and call home. However, our state is experiencing a statewide increase in the tick population and an increase in tick-borne diseases. Learning how to remove ticks can reduce your risk of contracting a tick-borne disease and can help keep you and your family safe while being outdoors. In this video, we will learn how to perform a proper tick check. It is important to do a tick check immediately after leaving a tick habitat. Check your shoes, socks, and legs for ticks. Wearing lighter colored clothing will make this step more effective as the tick may be visible. 
Later, do a more thorough tick check of your entire body. Tick checks are an important protection method because it takes at least 24 hours for deer ticks to transmit the bacterium which causes Lyme disease. The earlier you find ticks on your body and remove them, the better. Start with your head and feel around your hairline from your forehead to the back of your neck. Check inside and around the ears. Work your way down your body, paying special attention to underarms, backs of the knees, and groin area. Ideally, you should do this in a well-lit bathroom before taking a shower. Showering after spending time in tick habitats is a good idea because it may remove unattached ticks and provides a good opportunity to perform a thorough tick check. One of the best ways to make sure that Lyme disease carrying ticks aren't clinging to your clothing is first to tumble them on high heat in the dryer and then wash them. If you find a tick, you should put it into alcohol to kill it. Thank you for watching our video on how to perform a proper tick check. Make sure to check out our videos on Lyme disease and reducing tick habitats around your home. For more information, please contact the Maine Center for Disease Control and Prevention.